we're sitting at 60 in here, 60 degrees. It's pretty warm in here. And nine degrees outside, we're styling. I think that's the sound of it. Time to go get my cup. It's <laughs> <laughs> the alarm to go get my cup. <laughs> All right. Oh no, these cords just broke. That's all exposed wire right there now. You mean the plastic? Yeah, the plastic on the cord. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's cold or if it's because it's garbage. So all I got to fix it right now is Dollar Tree duct tape. So that's what we're gonna do, hope for the best. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're camping in a solar powered hot tent. I have two solar panels, 200 watt solar panels from a company called Big Blue. They sent them to me for review. It's about eight degrees out right now, and I had a little trouble with one of the cords when I tried to pull it apart to get to the battery connections. The, the plastic just like shattered. So that's not very good right now. <laughs> I duct taped it the best I could, and we'll see how much of the battery it charges with some split cables. This 100 watt panel is charging a, a 12 volt deep cycle battery that I used last night. I drained it completely with a space heater. I'll show you that footage uh, right now from my testing last night. It's, um, it's cold out. I think the battery just died. The heater at least stopped working and I have to keep tripping the inverter on and off to get it to run for about 30 seconds at a time. Then it trips right back off. So the battery lasted about 50 minutes from when I turned it on. The warmest I saw get in here was 23 degrees and it was 8 degrees outside from the thermometer on my phone is what that said. So that is a 15, 15 degree difference isn't bad. And it is really windy out. So what happened was it, uh, it got up to about 23 and then I saw it go down to about 22 and then 21 and then all of a sudden it went to 19 when the battery died and that's that's when I knew the, the heater stopped and that was about 50 minutes after we started the, the heater. So I'm going to crawl into bed now. It's one o'clock in the morning. We'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night and we'll continue our test tomorrow. So now today I have the solar panels hooked up. It's about 9 a.m. I think. So we have all day with the sunlight. It is cloudy, but the solar panels are on. They are charging. I saw the indicator lights turn on. Also with the solar panels, with the batteries that we brought, we ended up making coffee this morning with, a, with an actual coffee maker. I brought the coffee maker from the house. So that's, that's pretty cool. Let me tell you what, it was really cool to sit in there and just brew actual coffee. <laughs> that was cool. So we're gonna continue testing these solar panels today, see how much juice we can get for these batteries. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's the alarm to go get my cup. <laughs> Solar powered hot tent coffee. Cheers, guys. I just got done pouring it. It's gonna be hot, but it's from a coffee maker, so it shouldn't be it should be that hot, right? Shouldn't be burned my mouth hot. Oh, right. nice hand warmer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. All right, first sip. Here we go. Ooh, that's not bad, not bad. Fresh brewed Stewart's coffee in the hot tent. It's a little strong. Nice. Ooh, oh, it's really warm, oh wow. So I think the idea of having like a solar powered hot tent is pretty cool. I don't know how feasible it is. I got some more testing to do later. I'm gonna run one battery after I insulate the tent and just see how long it will 
how warm it will get. Not how long, because I, I think it's going to be about 50 minutes, just like the first one. And it doesn't matter how cold it is outside. It's going to run the same amount of time, right? So let me see how warm you can actually get it. If you can get it a sustainable temperature off a of battery, that will be cool. And that's what we'll figure out today. All right, guys, I've had the thermometer in the solar-powered hot tent for about a half hour. We are reading 47 degrees in the solar-powered hot tent. It's 67 in the actual hot tent right now. So it's, it's not far off from, <laughs> from the hot tent, to be honest. That's just with the sun on it. So we're going to go over there. I got the inverter in my hand, and we're going to hook up uh, the space heater and see how warm we can get it. So let's go. I will check the weather app when, when I get in there, and we'll see how cold it is outside. So we'll see the temperature difference inside of the solar powered hot tent compared to the temperature outside. Let's close up shop. Let's see, Let's see how much colder we got it from opening it up. It's, it's not reading anything different, so we're still at 48. I've had this battery charging since yesterday. So it's had full sun all morning. And this is the one that I drained down the first night. The first night I got 50 minutes out of the heater so we're gonna see how long it will last from being charged by the sun. Okay, the battery that I charge is reading 12.9 volts, so it might be fully charged. I'm, I, I think that's how that works. I'm gonna turn the space heater on. We are, we are actually starting at 51 degrees in here. It's 51 currently. 51 degrees in here, so let's see how warm we can get it, guys. It's also going to be interesting to see how how much power we ended up charging into that into that battery. Okay, I'm going to stick the thermometer down at the other end, sort of. We're probably three feet from it on my cot. <laughs> We're up to 53 so far. <laughs> uh, okay, and it is it's 10:23, or I'm sorry, it's 10:27. 1027 so we'll see how long this runs it's been running for one minute so far so at 1020 oh it's 1028 so 1026 is our starting point 1026 i hope i remember that so far guys i mean it's working with the with the sun beating on the tent it's totally doable as a solar powered hot tent when it was really cold we're up to 54 when it was really cold the first night it did not do well well i guess we did get a 15 degree temperature change from the outside to inside in 50 minutes just from this heater it didn't take 55 degrees in here holy crap i'm actually it's actually warm it's it's a it's hot it's a hot tent solar powered hot tent <laughs> all right i'll be back in a little bit all right so the heater just shut off it's only been 10 minutes i wonder if there's a it gets too hot or some kind of thermostat and it, it shuts it off so we're gonna we're gonna let it sit and see if it will turn back on, or if not, the bat it might have killed the battery. Oh no! It just turned. It oh wow! It just turned on. It just turned back on. Okay, so it has an overheat function or something. But it just turned back on. We're down to 56. I had it up to 57. Oh, it just shut off again. All right, so I just made the decision. It keeps turning on for a couple seconds and shutting off. I think we drained too much power out of this battery. So we were able to get, I think, we'll figure that out once I, I plug it into the new battery. The other battery should be fully charged from home. So we're gonna hook it up and see how long that lasts. If we only got 10 minutes out of this battery, it was cloudy all day yesterday. There wasn't very much sun, but we have plenty of sun today. So maybe it would charge much, much better. Obviously it would charge much better with, with this amount of sun but we haven't been charging it that long with the sun. So, all right, so I'm gonna unhook it from this one and hook it up to the new battery and see how long right, it new battery's hooked up. We're at 12, we're at 12.3 volts charged from the house. Heater's turned on now. We're sitting at 53 degrees in here. <sighs> and let's let this uh, test continue. Excuse me. <coughs> adding to the hot tent all right so i checked the weather app it's nine degrees outside and it's 55 in here right now i started this new heater around 10 43 ish i think it was 10 43 it's been going for five minutes that's all 
with with the sun and the heater going so we're at nine degrees outside and 56 in here what's that 40 45 45 degree difference so we're with the sun and the heater we can heat the tent 45 degrees hotter than it is outside that's not that that's pretty cool that's with full sun on the first night when obviously there was no sun I was able to get 15 degree difference from outside temperature to in here with the heater. It has been on for for almost 10 minutes. We're up to 60 degrees in here. I don't know why this thermometer is reading 66. Like maybe the the internal thermometer isn't getting cold, like cooled down from when we had it in the hot tent. But this is reading temperature in here. And I literally, I have both of these sitting right next to each other, and it's a five-degree difference, six-degree difference. Now it's actually getting warmer. I don't know why, why it's different, but we're sitting at 60 in here, 60 degrees. It's pretty warm in here, and nine degrees outside, we're styling. It's working. It's been going for 10 minutes so far. Now, the insulation must be helping, too. It's got to be helping. I, I insulated both of these end walls with reflectance but I hooked up both of the end walls with it that one's insulated and that one's insulated I was going to insulate the bottom walls but I just decided not to that would have made it even warmer here 62 holy cow 62 I'm going by this top temperature because that's what I started the temperature test with this is that 62 temperature. So I started the test with this one, so we're reading it off of that one. We're up to 68, it is now 1110. So it's been running for 25 minutes off of the new battery. I went out and I checked the, the bigger solar panels to charge my jacket battery. It's still not working. The cord is warm, it, like it's hot, like it's getting power and it's getting hot, but it's not charging it, I don't know why. It's just not working. The cord's warm. It's still sitting at 19. So I don't know why that big blue, the big blue double panel isn't working, but big blue, if you're watching, why isn't that working? Like, come on, guys. You sent it, you sent it to me to, to test out, and it's not working. What the heck? The five panel did great. Uh, not great, but it, it worked. It charged the battery enough to run this heater for 10 minutes with no sun yesterday. It was cloudy all day, so it was charging. I saw the charge indicator light on. So it did get, it did get power yesterday from the panel and a little bit this morning for the hour and a half that it was charging from the sunlight. That charged that battery for 10 minutes with no sun yesterday. Our battery died. It is 11.35. I didn't even notice that it went off. I've been messing around in here. So it lasted almost 50 minutes, just like the first battery. With a 40 watt heater and a 12 volt battery. So we get about 50 minutes off of each battery with a 40, with a 400 watt. And it just kicked back on. So there's a little power left in the battery, but it, it needs to like get power back in order for it to, to stay on. So that's what was happening with the first battery after we charged it with a solar panel. Solar powered hot tent. Let's see. Max was 72. So the hottest we got it in here was 72. And it is 13 degrees outside currently. So that is almost a 60 degree. That's a 60 degree difference between outside and inside with a 40 degree or with a 400 watt with a 400 watt heater and a 12 volt battery powered by solar panels. Now let's talk about the solar panels for a second. This is the 100 watt solar panel. I think it's, it's five panels, five solar panels that folds out. And this, this was able to charge the car battery. So it lasted 10 minutes, but we got 50, we got 50 minutes out of it. So it charged it 20% with no sun yesterday. It was cloudy all day. We didn't see the sun at all. So it was able to charge it 20% with no sun. So I think with a full day of sun, you'd be able to charge one of those batteries completely just with this solar panel. So if you had a whole line of batteries, let's say it's a shit hits the fan scenario and you're bugging out somewhere, you collect a bunch of car batteries to take up one whole side of your tent. You have three or four of these to, to line up one whole side of your tent. I, I think it's feasible. I think you could heat your tent 
uh, and insulate it. I insulated both ends. If you insulated the whole tent, I mean, with a small tent like this, it's, it's feasible. You could totally power a hot tent and make it warm with a little heater with enough batteries, enough batteries and enough solar panels. So this solar panel worked just fine. It worked pretty well, but I didn't get this one to work at all. I couldn't get it to charge. It wouldn't charge my battery. I charged the only battery I had that a plug that came with this would fit. So the only plug that came with this that I had something that would charge, it didn't work. So I don't know what's wrong with this solar panel, but I definitely don't recommend this, this big one. I, it's, it didn't work for me. I don't know why. Plenty of sun today, just didn't work. Don't know why. This one, this one did work. Um, so that's about it guys, yeah. Solar powered hot tent, I think it's feasible. I think you could do it, I think you could pull it off with the right stuff, obviously. Enough sun, insulated tent, a small space. Small space is definitely needed. You don't wanna, you definitely can't have a big tent and expect a small heater like this to, to eff efficiently heat it, right? But this worked, I, I, I think it's a success. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think, do you think this worked? All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like this sort of thing, think about hitting the subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle for you. Thanks for joining me in this one. I'll see you on the next one. Solar-powered hot tent. <laughs> right?